The rollout of the health care exchanges has resulted in some much publicized technical glitches that even the president has talked about and a lot more hard feelings. Chief National Correspondent Jim Angle has an update tonight. One person in the group who emerged with President Obama recently as examples of those who'd benefit from Obamacare told the Washington Post she hasn't been able to get on the website to sign up. But others who've gotten letters from their insurance carriers telling them exactly what they're getting aren't happy about it. My premiums would increase uh, approximately 61 percent. Uh, I went from $891 a month to uh, $1,437 uh, a month. The letter from his insurer said his current deductible for his family of five would double from $4,000 a year to $8,000 a year. Even though that's for the least expensive option under Obamacare, he says his additional payment of $550 a month will give him a plan that is no better, except, he said, it carries a benefit his family doesn't need maternity and newborn care. My wife is 58 years old and our youngest child is soon to be 18. That, we'll be having no more children. That's, that's not a benefit that, that we would ever purchase nor need or be able to use. He's almost 60 and makes too much to get any subsidies, but those his age aren't the only ones affected. Young people, especially young men, face huge premium increases. He said, let's look at what the lowest cost bronze plan is and compare that to the lowest cost plan that I could buy today. And what we found is that it'll go up about 260% for a 30-year-old male. Part of the problem is that young people would be forced to buy more benefits than they might be willing to pay for, as a recent survey found. For young adults, if they saw a 30% increase in their insurance premiums, these are ones who already had coverage, 5% of them said they would drop coverage. And only two states in the country have rate increases for that age group lower than 30%. But what about the subsidies in Obamacare, which are higher at lower incomes? Well, for any young person making more than $20,000 a year, insurance premiums, not counting deductibles, would cost more than paying the penalty. I think it's very likely that you'll see young people making the decision that this doesn't make sense for them. That's critical because the administration is counting on signing up enough young, healthy people to offset the cost of the older and less healthy. If not, the costs will soar. Brett? Okay, many more.